Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's one way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. Problem 67. Davao City is served by a 1.5 meter diameter pipe for its water supply. Each individual requires 150 liters per day as standard water consumption. Determine the expected population that can be served by such pipe if the mean velocity of flow in the pipe is set at 1.8 meters per second. So for the solution, we compute the discharge in cubic meter per second and equate it to the discharge required by the total population N. So Q is area times mean velocity the area is pi over 4 diameter square 1.5 square times velo mean velocity 1.8 meters per second so q is 3.1809 cubic meters per second then q in terms of the water requirements for each for each individual then times the total number of individuals is 150 liters per day or point 1.5 cubic meter per day per person as shown then we multiply it by n persons where n is the required population times uh, this is now cubic meter per day so times one day which is equal to 24 hours and we multiply further by one hour which is 3600 seconds as shown and equate it to one 3.1809 so solving for n n to four significant figures is 1,832,000 individuals or people problem 68 water is being pumped from a reservoir with water surface elevation of 12 meters to another reservoir at elevation 69 meters at the rate of 25 liters per second the pump is located at elevation 2 meters the pipe leading from the lower reservoir to the suction side of the pump has mannings n of 0 0.011 and is 15 meters long and 250 mm in diameter the pipe from the discharge side of the pump to the upper reservoir is 600 meters long and 200 mm in diameter with a friction factor of 0 0.02. Determine the horsepower required by the pump if its efficiency is 70%. Frictional losses in meters are computed using the formulas uh, Manning's formula 10.29 n square LQ square over diameter to the 16 thirds and Darcy Weisbach formula 0 0.026 FLQ square over diameter to the 5. So for the solution, let's have the, the diagram first so to help analyze this problem. And take note that the lower reservoir is at elevation 12, the upper reservoir elevation 69. We'll call the water surfaces in the reservoirs as A and B as shown. For the suction side, of the pump the pipe is 15 meters long to 50 mm in diameter and has mannings n of 0 0.011 for the discharge side which is this so by the the pump by the way is at elevation 2 meters and the discharge side has friction factor by Darcy Weisbach 0 0.02 200 mm in diameter and length 600 meters so we are now ready to answer this problem the power delivered to the pump by the input power the power generated is output power and therefore the required power in this case horsepower in this case is power input by the pump output power of the pump is q gamma q gamma of water times head added by the pump and the input power therefore is output power divided by efficiency which is 0 
and we express that in kilowatts. We divide the power farther by 0.746 because one horsepower is 0.746 uh, kilowatt. So power in equals Q specific weight of water head added by the pump over efficiency all over 0.746. So this factor is to convert the power from kilowatts to horsepower. So to compute head added by the pump, we write energy equation between points A and B as follows. Remember, there is a pump, so there is head added in the left side of the equation. So velocity head at A, pressure head at A, plus elevation head at A, equals plus head added, rather, by the way, equals velocity head at B, pressure head at B, plus elevation head at B, then the total head loss from A to B. Velocity head at A, because this is a... Uh, the water surface in the reservoir that is negligible pressure head at A is 0 exposed to the atmosphere. Elevation head at A is 12. Let's select the datum at the pump, uh, sorry, at elevation 0 so that we just copy the elevation. So 12 head added unknown. Velocity head at B is also negligible. That's the point on the surface of the reservoir B. Pressure head at B is 0. This is exposed to the atmosphere. Elevation head is 69. Then head loss from A to B is these frictional losses by Manning's formula and by Darcy Weebach formula. So substitute 0 plus 0 plus 12 plus head added equals 0 plus 0 plus 69 plus head loss by Manning's formula plus head loss, frictional loss by Darcy Weebach formula for the discharge line. So head added by the pump is equal to 657 plus HF due to Manning's formula plus HF due to Darcy Way back formula. So HF due to Manning's formula can now be computed 10.29.011 square, 15 Q is 0 0.025, 25 liters per second square, all over diameter 0 0.25 to the 16 thirds. So head loss, frictional loss by Mannings is equal to, in this pipe here, is 0 0.01897 meter. While the frictional loss in the discharge line by Darcy Weisbach formula is equal to 0 0.0826, friction factor 0 0.02, length 600, Q 0 0.025, quantity square over diameter 0.2 to the PIF. And it is equal to... 1.936 meters. Therefore, substitute here had added is 57 plus 0 0.01897 plus 1.936. So, had added by the pump is equal to 58.955 meters. We then substitute into this equation power in equals 0 0.025 times 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter times 58.955. So, that's kilowatts divided by efficiency to make it power input then divided by 0.746 kilowatts per horsepower to make the unit horsepower so power in is equal to 27.69 horsepower